my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine in this video i am sharing a very important content with you all that is the marks allotment for the science subject in your board examination students you all have received two set of question paper from our kseeb board one is the model question paper and the second set is the state level preparatory examination question paper when we look at both the question paper in science subject you can find something which is very similar between the marks allotment in each and every individual lessons so today i am sharing the marks allotment for each and every individual lesson so we call this as a blueprint for your board examination preparation by knowing the marks allotment for each and every individual lesson there is a profit for you the two category students the first category is the one who are not able to cover all the concepts can only focus on the particular lessons by knowing the number of marks the second category of students those who are studying very well can plan accordingly by knowing the number of marks which is been allotted for each and every individual lesson so that this will increase your confidence level so without wasting much time let us know the number of marks which has been allotted for each and every lesson for your board examination preparation firstly when we look at the model question paper for the lesson life process six marks had been allotted even in the state preparatory examination question paper six marks is allotted for the life process lesson so confirmly in the board examination also by reading the life process lesson you will get the marks moving to next lesson control and coordination control and coordination lesson in the model question paper as well as in the state preparatory examination question paper six marks is been allotted so definitely in the board examination also you will get six marks for this lesson when we look at our environment lesson five marks in the model paper as well as in the preparatory paper also five marks is been allotted so by reading this lesson you will get five marks in the board examination moving to next how do organisms reproduce and also the heredity and evolution lesson so here there is a slight change in the model question paper for how do organisms reproduce lesson four marks is been allotted whereas in the preparatory paper five marks is been allotted so one marks is been increased so this one marks is been taken from the heredity and evolution lesson when we look at the model paper for the heredity and evolution lesson six marks is been allotted whereas in the preparatory paper five marks is been allotted that means one marks from the heredity and evolution lesson is been removed and has been added to the how do organisms reproduce lesson so now let us think that we will get minimum and maximum five marks by reading how do organisms and also heredity and evolution lesson so this is all the marks allotment for the biology lessons see by reading only biology you will get 27 marks in the board examination so now you can decide that which lesson to read first and which are the lesson you have to choose to read for board examination for the one who is feeling difficult to cover the entire concepts the one who are studying definitely you can study everything now this will increase your confidence level now let us look at the next part that is the chemistry when we look at the chemistry part see in the model question paper for the lesson chemical reactions and equations they had allotted 5 marks even in the preparatory paper they had allotted 5 marks so by reading chemical reactions and equation you will get 5 marks in the board examination definitely and moving to acids bases and salts for this lesson also both in the model paper as well as in the preparatory paper they had allotted they have given 6 marks for this lesson so by reading this lesson you will get 6 marks in the board examination moving to metals and non metals 5 marks in the model paper as well as 5 marks in the preparatory paper so there is no change in both the papers they have allotted same number of marks moving to carbon and its compounds lesson 
five marks in the model paper and even in the preparatory they have given five marks for the carbon and its compounds lesson so there is no change okay so next moving to periodic classification of elements four marks in the model paper and also four marks in the preparatory paper so there is no change in the allotment of marks for the chemistry lessons same number of marks is been allotted both in the model paper as well as in the preparatory papers so by reading the chemistry totally you will get 25 marks so now you can choose which lesson to read first for the one who has not it started those who have already started now you can plan to get 25 marks easily by putting more effort in understanding the concept so this is all about chemistry students now let us move, move for the physics part let me look at the physics part the first lesson is electricity for the electricity lesson both in the model question paper and the state preparatory examination question paper they have allotted 7 marks so you will get 7 marks in the board examination also by reading the electricity lesson moving to magnetic effect of electricity for this particular lesson also 6 marks is been allotted in both the question papers so the same number of marks has been given in the board examination the high weightage lesson is the light reflection and refraction so for this lesson 12 marks is been allotted in both the papers only by reading this particular lesson 12 marks you will get students so focus more on this lesson moving to sources of energy for this particular lesson you will get 3 marks because in both the model paper as well as the state preparatory papers they have allotted 3 marks for this particular lesson so by reading physics totally you will get 28 marks okay so this is all about the allotment of marks for biology chemistry and also the physics so those who have not yet started reading the science or those who are feeling difficult to read the science to the particular lesson read properly to get the maximum number of marks which has been allotted you are focusing towards all the concepts now you will get the confidence that how many more marks that you have to still get prepared that means for example you already studied light reflection and diffraction lesson now you know that i will get 12 marks now which lesson is now pending so focus more towards that particular lesson so by knowing the marks allotment so you can study even more better so from tomorrow i have planned for the crash course in science hope you found this video useful so in the next video i'm starting the crash course for your board examination preparation stay tuned to my channel find this video useful click the like button and share maximum with your friends and thank you for watching this video see you all in my next crash course video